Today, we are showcasing our brand new Winter Cottage Layered Stencil. This is the first of its kind at scrapbook.com and we are so excited to be sharing with you this Winter Cottage Layered Stencil. Let me show you how easy it is to use this layered stencil. It comes in two pieces. All right, so I'm going to take just a blank piece of eight and a half by 11 paper and lay it out onto my silicone mat. And you do not have to do this for the stencil, but I'm going to show you how to do a layered looking stencil with some modeling fluffy paste. All right, so we're going to take our first stencil, which is the houses, and I'm going to put it on my paper right in the middle here. We're going to take some mint tape and adhere this stencil down so it does not move while we are stenciling. Just take a couple pieces of mint tape and adhere this down. All right, so this is pretty set right there. It's not going to move. And then I'm going to just take my foam domed blender with a new top and take some of this pink flamingo. I want my houses to be pink. So I'm going to add a little bit of pink to my blender tool and go all over this, all over the houses. And if you wanted to, you could even use a different color to do each of these sprigs, but I'm gonna do the whole thing pink, just for the sake of time to show you how easy this stencil is to use. All right, I'm gonna take this stencil off and you can see my all over house pattern underneath. So pretty. Remove this tape. I'm going to reuse this tape. So next, I'm going to take the second stencil that has all of our little windows and doors and our cute little holly. And I'm just going to line it up over where my other stencil was. You can see it's easy to line up right there. I'm going to take my mint tape and adhere this guy down over here and over here. And next, I'm gonna take some of this light and fluffy modeling paste. I'm gonna take my knife and just put some right on top. And then put this guy away. This is the fun light and fluffy modeling paste. And then next, we will take our craft scraper and I am just gonna scrape this modeling paste across my stencil where all of my little windows and little berries are going to be filled up with this modeling paste just to give it a little extra texture and then for fun i want to add some sparkle so i'll put my knife aside with this extra and i'm going to just squeeze out some of our pops of color snowflake all over just to give that iridescent sparkly color like snow. We're gonna take our scraper tool with all of that fun pops of color all over and just lay it flat across, drag it across our stencil all over. Make sure you're covering the whole thing with this iridescent sparkle. That's gonna be so pretty. It's got a sparkly finish all over. All right, I'm gonna set my knife aside now the moment of reveal. I'm going to take off our mint tape and we're going to take off this stencil and you can see this beautiful texture on our project. Look at how pretty that is. I'm going to turn it to the side so you can see the texture. Look at that. <gasps> Gorgeous. So all of my windows have a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of texture on them. This will be a great background for a card or a TN page or whatever you're working on, a little mini album. This is just a fun way to add a little texture to your projects. All right, and that is how simple it is to use our brand new layered winter cottage stencil. You can create a layered effect with the background and then all the little bits and pieces over the top. And here you can see we use different colors of inks with just blending with an ink tool. And we got the different colors of windows and the houses. You can do like an ombre effect. It's so much fun to play with. So be sure to check out this brand new winter cottage stencil at scrapbook.com.